Hey everybody, it's Scott here. Happy May Day. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so glad you guys could make it. I hope wherever you are, this video finds you well and at peace. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to join me. Man, I am so excited you are here. I'm so excited you found me because here we talk all things fragrances. And today is a very special day for me because my very good friend, Smiley, is launching his very first fragrance and I'm so excited. I'm trying to tamper my excitement and give you a professional in-depth review slash first impression of this fragrance. Okay, let me just start out by telling you Smiley's accomplishments. First of all, what an amazing name, right? Smiley, that already invokes positive vibes, guys, right? That's what we're here for, positive vibes. Well, Smiley is from the University of Arizona. He is a bit of a renaissance man. He's the true definition of a renaissance man. He's an accomplished artist, accomplished painter, accomplished illustrator, accomplished sculptor. He's a bit of a scientist. You probably know him best from the wet shaving community, guys. He's got a huge presence in there. He makes some world-renowned artistic brushes that are sold all over the world. You've got to check those out. And by the way, I'll leave a link to all his stuff down in my description below so you can find him easily, okay? He's also got his own Instagram page, so you can get a hold of him very easily there as well. He's also a perfumer, and what I like, the thing that I find the most interesting, guys, is he used to be a professional skateboarder. He used to ride with all the greats. I don't know if any of you have just seen the brand new documentary on HBO Max, Until the Wheels Fall Off. He used to skate with a lot of those guys. So he's a bit of a renaissance man. He is a very, very good friend of mine. He is a friend to the community, not just the wet shaving community, but to the community at large. And he's just a really gentle giant with a big heart. And I am so excited for this fragrance launch. It's just, it's been a long time, a big dream of his coming. And so today we're going to be talking about his brand new fragrance, Elixir M. Are you guys ready? Here we go. This is the box that came in right here. I love the box. And in case you didn't know, that's what he looks like right there. That's, that's Smiley. And what I like about this box already, and there's the name, Elixir M, all right? And what I like about this box already is it's very edgy. When I opened up the box, had very, very nice protection in there, and there's even some bubble wrap underneath that. And then nestled down inside here was this little red bag to keep the fragrance in, which I think is a very nice touch. I love attention to detail, and I know you guys too. And uh, Smiles is all about, Smiley is all about the attention to detail. And inside this bag, here is the fragrance right here. Boom. Nice glass bottle. Like the graphics, there's the M, Elixir M, and I'll give you a little bit more information about what that means in just a minute. Standard cap. Nice atomizer. So that's your presentation. All right, let's go ahead and dive in a little bit about this fragrance. First of all, it is releasing today at the watching of this video, guys, on May Day, May the 1st. This is a 30 ml. You're going to find it for $69. I think you can find it on the Etsy shop at Smiles for Miles. But guys, in case you know I'm not speaking clearly or you're confused, just go to Smiles for Miles Instagram page. You can find him in the link. You can message him on Messenger and he'll tell you how to get a hold of this fragrance. Now, if you stay all the way to the end of this video and you'd like to try this fragrance without buying it, I'm going to go ahead and give away this 5 ml decant that I just happened to get from Smiley. If you guys want to try this out and you want to win this 5 ml, it's yours for the taking at the end of the video. The keyword is smiles for miles. Just mention the keyword in there. Tell me where you're from too. And uh, you'll get a chance to win this fragrance and I'll send it on my own dime to you guys for you to try. And uh, not bad. Get a hold of it before you buy it. That's a great way to test out fragrances. You can find this at the Etsy shop, smiles for miles for $69. All right, so presentation. Elixir M, what does that stand for? Well, Elixir M is inspired by all Smiley's visits to Mexico. That's right, Smiles used to visit his great grandma in Mexico, and this fragrance is to invoke that feeling he got when he would go to Mexico. It's a memorial to her. It's inspired by the sea air that you would smell when, you, when he was traveling, the blooming flower blossoms that you smell when you're walking through the market, and just all the various scents by walking through the markets of Mexico. And uh, this fragrance is really, really gorgeous. I think they've done an absolutely beautiful job. Shout out to Bonnie who helped mix and blend this fragrance and uh, was there for smiles when he was making this fragrance. Guys, 
This is absolutely amazing. Now, the fragrance is a little bit edgy, right? Edgy box, edgy fragrance, but what does it smell like? All right, let's go ahead and spray this fragrance. Let me go ahead and leave this full bottle presentation on the screen real quick, and I'll tell you the notes that are inside this fragrance. So what we have in the top is we have a seaweed accord, Galea melon. Galea melon is a hybrid from cantaloupe and honeydew, and it came to life from the country of Israel. So it's basically a hybrid of melon and cantaloupe. You've got cucumber water, green lily blossom, rose, and white tea leaf. In the mid, you're gonna find some dour wine note and a spicy leather note. And in the base, you're gonna find sweet peony, rose, geranium, sandalwood, and amber. All right, guys, let's go ahead and spray this fragrance. And I've already been testing it out all day Saturday. So I know how long it lasts, I know how it performs, and I know the vibe of this fragrance already, but let's just go ahead and spray it on skin. <sighs> Guys, fresh, sweet, not too sweet, okay? Just the right blend of sweetness, very fresh. And what I'm impressed with right out of the gate a lot of times when folks make their own fragrances, you get a real big blast of that perfumer's alcohol because it's not blended perfectly. I don't get that. I'm getting a fresh, sweet, woody, calming, relaxing vibe. If I were to describe this fragrance, I know this comes from Mexico, but if I were to describe this fragrance, I would describe it as very zen-like. It is very calming, it is very chill, it is very relaxed. I'm already thinking of just sitting outside in nature, sitting in the sun, letting the sunbeams just beam down on you, and just chilling, relaxing, finding that calm place when you've had a busy day at work, you know, maybe you need to relax at night, whatever the case may be, the kids are driving you crazy, deadlines for work, this is the fragrance to turn to for absolute and utter complete peace and calm. That is exactly what I get from this fragrance. That's the story it's telling to me. And that makes sense. Knowing Smiley like I do and everything that he's been through, guys, I know that he would love a fragrance that calms him and this one is going to get the job done. Now, I mentioned there's a seaweed accord. That's not a note I pick up right away. I definitely do not get that black seaweed, but what I do get is a whole lot of cucumber. I'm definitely picking up that white tea leaf I'm picking up that sour wine, which by the way is beautiful. It's just, it's so, so gorgeous. It's a beautiful note that blends well with all those other notes. And between the green cucumber, the white tea leaf, and the amber and the sandalwood, man, this thing is a chill out fragrance. This ring, it's so fresh and it's so sweet, but then it just warms up at the end. And it's just, I don't know, it's just so calming and relaxing and it just puts a smile on my face. It is such a good fragrance. I'm not just saying that because Smiles is my friend. This fragrance is really good. A lot of people who come out with their fragrances, I'm telling you, they have a hard time with the blends and this one is really, really well done. My wife loves this fragrance. Now, what happened to me is I was wearing this fragrance all day Saturday and I went an anosmic to it. I couldn't tell if I was smelling it in my more, anymore and my wife leaned over and said, man, that thing is still kicking. And uh, so that was a good sign. It was still kicking at the six hour mark, okay? I'm not gonna say that this gives a massive scent trail that just you know goes all the way across the room, but it gets the job done. It's gonna be at least at an arm's length as far as the scent trail and the scent bubble. And it's definitely a fragrance people are gonna notice on you. I'd say for at least about one to two hours, but it's gonna, you're gonna still smell this fragrance on you at the six hour mark. And as it heats up and as you know the weather gets warmer outside, I really think this fragrance is gonna perform and you're really gonna like it. It's just so calming. And I really think you can wear this fragrance at, at the office because it's not it's gonna be non-offensive. So if you've got a high-paced job, definitely spray this on if you wanna be calm. But to me, I'm getting those vibes of just chill out, relax, you know, white t-shirt, you know, holy jeans, ripped jeans, jean shorts, whatever, flip-flops, and just chill mode, you know, but put on some grateful dead or whatever and just relax and you sip some wine, sip some cervezas, whatever the case may be and just relax because that's the vibe I'm getting from this fragrance. Now, the other thing I'm smelling in this one is it's not listed in the notes, but I'm getting a hint of pink pepper, a little bit of spiciness, and also a little bit of patchouli in the base. I'm not sure about that. I'll definitely have to check with Smiles about that one. But man, this fragrance is so good, guys. It's definitely a nice, 
casual or even a work fragrance it's very versatile and this is perfect for the spring and summer guys and also i have it on good authority that another fragrance is in the works for fall and winter so please stay tuned make sure you tune in to smiles for miles every sunday in eastern standard time on instagram on the wet shaving community but the thing is it's not just about wet shaving it's, there's a lot on there about fragrances as well so if you love fragrances make sure you check it out so guys i'm giving this fragrance two thumbs up very versatile perfect for the spring and tum spring and summer and a very zen like relaxing fragrance that you're going to get about a nice six six to eight hours perhaps i got about six stop smelling it after that but my wife said it still was kicking and this is not just for men oh no in my opinion and my wife said so too and my daughter this could be worn by a man or a woman just because of these notes. There's rose in here, white tea leaf, and that wine accord. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful, very classy. This one, once the word gets out and more people get their hands on this fragrance and for 69 bucks, why, why would you not buy this beautiful fragrance right here? So two thumbs up for me, guys. Those are my impressions. Those are my opinions. Definitely check this out. I'll leave all the links down below, guys. If you got any value from this video whatsoever please leave a thumbs up tell all your friends and family about this video guys spread the word come be a, a part of the scott aromatico movement join my fragrance family i need you because i'm learning from you guys and growing with you guys and we're all learning and growing about fragrances so love each and every one of you and like i said i hope this video finds you at peace and at happiness guys thank you so much i'll see you next time peace love ciao